Alrighty yo. So it is Monday. Um, no, I actually don't know what day it is. Anyways, right, so we had a crazy weekend for my birthday, but it's time to get our life back on track. Okay, so nice healthy day of activities, eating somewhat well and working out in the sun. That's what's gonna go down. So we're at this place, right? It's called Train Beach Club. And as the name suggests, you go there, you train. It's an outdoor gym and full indoor gym and a beach club. It looks absolutely amazing. Mike and Louie, they are already in here. So yeah, let's have an amazing day. Welcome to the vlog. Give it a thumbs up, please, please God, to, to, to summon the YouTube algorithm gods and, and promote my video. Your whole new way, Just give it a thumbs up. Your new day stays good, but they ain't at the stomach. Rue would hit me from the gym and say we on to something. I heard he hit the comma buttons in the album budget. And I was scared to not amount to nothing. But now we on a lot of beams. Is it all you the one? My question mark. The first meal of the day, lunch, is we got a big mixed omelet and look at that presentation. And then here is chicken breast, couscous, probably saying that wrong. Couscous. Couscous. Cous -cous. So anyways, we're gonna eat this, so hungry, and then we're gonna train afterwards. Can't wait. God. That's insane. <laughs> so here's just me casually playing on the gym. <laughs> <laughs> yo yo people, so I have reunited in the Middle East with the Mahogany Overlord, also known as Mike Thurston, to bring you a full body workout. When I'm traveling or miss a training session, I'll often double up or combine my workouts, which ends up being a full body workout most of the time. I've been a fan of full body workouts for quite some time, and I've also recently seen them come back in trend with some other YouTubers do full videos on them, which I think is great. I myself have done a specific video on the full body workout that I personally do, which I'll link in the description box for you all to check out. It's an old video, so expect an updated 2021 to come soon. Overall training going really well, still chipping away at things. I am in holiday mode this week, eating out, training sporadically and enjoying myself, but not too worried about it. As like I said recently, I'm kind of doing my best to stay in shape while enjoying myself as I know there are some hard times coming starting in March and I cannot wait. The gym we've been training at this week has been this one right here, Train Beach Club, which is one of the best gyms I've actually ever trained at. It's one of a kind. If you're ever in Dubai, I recommend hitting them up and tell them I sent you. Uh, extra credits for playing my YouTube videos on the big screen. That's That was actually quite like a crazy feeling for me to see that. Some of the equipment here is hard to come by, so I made sure to give it all a go. Ended up being a solid workout. Anyways, this is my last Dubai vlog. It was just a short trip. So after the workout, me, Mike, and Louie decided to sit down and have a chat to the vlog about what we learned in our 20s. Hope you guys enjoy it and let me know in the comments what did you learn in your 20s or what have you learned so far? <laughs> They're like two brothers. <laughs> People, so seeing it was my birthday over the weekend. I turned the ripe old age of 28. And uh, Mike, you did a video recently on this, kind of some, some life yeah. advice stuff. Top five things I learned in 2019. Exactly, so today we're doing 10 things we learned in our 20s, right? So I've got five, I think uh, Mike's got five. Louis just gonna chime in. Louis still 26, so he's got a lot I'll to I'll add learn. some um, young in, in <laughs> yeah. some silly advice on that. Some, some youth, <laughs> but uh, right, I'll get the ball rolling here, okay? And first thing I'm gonna say is, start working on your dreams straight away, like, I see you know those lads like you know Craig and his brother and everything and you know they're so young yeah. and you know they're out they here. Got a head start, man. They got a head start, you know, and it's like I started doing YouTube at 22 and it's like I'd be if I started earlier, I'd be like four years ahead of where I am now. So it's like if you're thinking about doing something, stop putting it off. Don't think you're too young. And you know, get that head start, man. You know, in your twenties when you got the most energy really. So yeah, you know, just start. And also don't think that it's too late to start YouTube now because it's definitely not. No. A lot of people are worried that, oh, you started YouTube six years ago, five years ago, however long it was. There's still so much time and YouTube is just constantly growing, so it's not gonna be yeah. too late. And to start start, start like anything, you know, yeah. like whatever you want, you know, like don't, uh, oftentimes people say, oh, it's oversaturated, this industry or it's not. that industry, like that's just an excuse. So yeah, that's my first tip. My first tip would be, don't be afraid of taking risks. Nice. Some of the best things that happened to me been when I've just taken the risk and done something which could have gone completely wrong or pear-shaped but ended up working out like making moves from Newcastle to London even moving out here to Dubai like 
one of the best things I could have done. Yeah, and definitely. just quit my job, becoming a personal trainer, and then taking the risk again from completely stopping nice. personal training to now, you know, moving everything online. It's risky, but you work hard at it and it can pay off. Yeah, I'm currently taking a risk myself with the London move. You guys are loving that, and so yeah, I have a good feel about it, so definitely. So you loving it? Yeah, yeah, I'm loving it. I'm loving it, man. I feel like I've got a new lease of life, and everyone can even tell in the videos, like, and in the comments, everyone's saying that's a, that's a good feeling. So right, point number two is, this is kind of a superficial one, but I actually think it's important. Don't worry about aging as long as you put in the work. Like I looked at a photo of me when I was like 21. I look so much better now. <laughs> and I feel so much better. Like every year we're just getting like bigger, faster, stronger, and more financially set as well. You know, we're more resourceful because we're looking after ourselves and we're putting in the work. So don't worry about like, you know, getting older as long as you, you stay hitting the gym, you stay, you know, working hard. Uh, and then you're gonna age well. Like some people, like they fear, oh, I don't want to get old, and I'm like, I fucking can't wait till I'm 35. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll be peaking around then. It's a good age to be at right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, don't worry about aging, but as long as you, you know, maintain yourself, <laughs> you put in that work. My next point, I'd probably say, stop caring about what other people think. I think I, especially in my early 20s, I was so bothered about what other people were thinking that put me off from either speaking my mind or particularly my YouTube channel I was just I, I thought oh you know I didn't know enough or people were just gonna judge me too much so many times which you know I, I just didn't post things or talk about things because yeah. I was too bothered about how people would respond but now I'm just like just go for it yeah yeah I'll, I'll always... you're always gonna get people who uh, might not agree with you or gonna criticize or say something negative that's just the way it is yeah I'll never forget when I first started a Facebook page I was so afraid of putting up a status that when I did, I had like a panic attack <laughs> and I fell off my chair. It was this talk about macros. I was like, it, was, it wasn't even you a just picture. Wait for someone to get some yeah, exactly. Like, and they did. <laughs> They're like, who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> and that was like, that was years ago. And that, like, the thought of posting a video of myself, oh my god. But like, that's the best thing you can do is put yourself out there and not care what people think. But it's so mad to think I was literally shit scared of posting status. <laughs> and, yeah. and I think that you's, you's are, I think it's even like crazy to think that you worry about posting a video or something like that when yeah. your whole intention is to help yeah. so many people. And there is obviously going to be them people that dislike the video, but like they're not doing any good in the world. You're no. the one that's trying to have a positive influence on yeah. so many other people. So mm. I yeah. wouldn't. Fuck the haters. <laughs> Be good to the people around you, bring people up, and you'll get that right back. So again, you know, get get the right people around you, get a good crew and, and treat them well and like you know, yeah, like you'll happen. feel great, you know? Like here look, we are in Dubai having yeah, a great time. We're in a happy little family. <laughs> yeah. I feel like everyone benefits from bringing each other up as yeah. well. Like everyone does well together. Yeah, don't be like that person leaving hateful comments online in their mom's basement. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's just not doing anyone any, any favors. Get out there, be a nice person. My next point, I'd probably say, try and figure out what your strengths are and what you're good at and play to them, use them to your advantage. But at the same time, if there is something which is holding you back, like you have like a, a weakness, let's like say for example, you have like terrible people skills or you're just like really afraid of public speaking or being on camera, depending upon what you want to do or what line of work you're going to be in, if you really suck at something, you might need to work on that. Yeah. Like me, you know, I felt like I was quite good at like coaching people. I could do loads of like stuff one-on-one. -on -one. I spent thousands of hours training people in person. But when it came to speaking on camera, I used to be like, Ugh. <laughs> and like, I used to freak out and turn into this mumbling idiot. So I was like, okay, if I'm, I'm going to excel in my career, I have to be better at being on camera, yeah. be more charismatic. Yeah. And that's you know something I worked on. I just got a tripod, a camera, recorded myself talking, watched it back, and you improve every time. Yeah, and you, and you'd be surprised that like you look at something like that and you you think oh, I'll never get good at this, and like you'd be insanely shocked at how good you can actually get at something if you put in the hours. Like it's crazy. So all right, my next point: focus on experiences over things. I always remember like the trips I've had, but I couldn't tell you about a lot of stuff I bought. Like yeah. our Ibiza trip last summer. I'll never forget that. <laughs> this trip, like so many trips, like even like I just, just came with some stuff. The first that, time we came to Dubai, yeah, that was yeah. that was one of the best trips ever. That yeah, insane, and so like I'll always remember all the experiences and trips and events 
but like I couldn't tell you what I bought on that yeah. trip. I couldn't tell you that. I but I remember what we did. Yeah. Like we were just talking about our safari desert thing. Like well, actually, that that brings on to my next point. But I was gonna say travel the world as much as you can because yeah. traveling is what has taught me the most and changed me the most as a yeah. person. Just by seeing the world like different cultures doing different things and socializing with different people and you come back like a week in a completely different country yeah you come back a different person yeah whereas if you were to just stay at home doing the same thing you know it's it's life-changing yeah and i know not everybody can do it you know you, some people might have restrictions with work and money and so on but you know you you can figure out a way yeah you can it. make it work yeah, like anyone, you can prioritize anyone it, that like, says that they can't travel you can travel you just have yeah. to be smart with your money if yeah. you have if you're renting a car and it's a grand a month or something yeah ditch the car and get the bus like, yeah for like six months and then you're able to travel so sort of getting ranked like, at the weekend yeah <laughs> and so yeah that's the main one like people down the pub and they'll buy six pints and, and a takeaway that they won't even remember but like they won't travel Thursday they, Friday you know, Saturday night yeah and that's why they that, if they save that money Every single That's week. Like flights. Yeah. Like we can fly around Europe for like forty quid. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Go on sky scan and see what's popping. <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly. Going. But yeah, travel is something that's completely changed me uh, as a person as well, especially over the last two years. Um, so right, my next one. Oh, run number ten, I think, or nine. So this is actually a good one. This is probably my favorite point, and I wrote, "You'll never have it all figured out, and you'll always have problems, and you'll need to come up with solutions to them." Like. Your humor doesn't change much or your problems or your thoughts don't change much over time like your parents are kind of like big kids in a way mm. And like you think like when you're 19 so maybe some some young watching this They're like oh when I'm 28. I won't have this problem, but it's like yeah. you will you're always gonna have problems But you just need to come up with solutions to them and like yeah go easy on your elders and your parents like cuz you know they, they go through stuff as well so yeah, but you just need to learn how to deal with shit and then you overcome anything. My next point is to do with relationships. So for oh. me, like women and stuff. I think in my early 20s, when things don't work out or things come to an end, don't be so bummed out about it because there is plenty more fish in the sea and there's no point just being depressed and whining about it. Just go spend time with your mates, go have some fun and someone new will come into your life. Yeah. Don't worry about it. There you go. So that's 10 things we learned before our 20s. Maybe we'll ditch the fitness channel and uh, just, just do life advice. Yeah, we're life coaches now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, buy, buy our ebook. Life ebook. <laughs> that's even a thing. <laughs> right, here's right. This is beautiful. The sun's about to set now. So I'm going to go home, chill for a little bit, then I'm going to go to dinner. Going to Asia Asia. It's one of my favorite restaurants in the world. So see you guys then. Peace. Peace. Life coach then. It's literally a vibe. <laughs> That sums up the video. Just look, it's literally a vibe. That's all he's learned. <laughs> that, it's every day, bro. That's all he's learned. I'm filming it. Yeah. Of course it is. This is the extras. I thought he was just holding it. Cupping the balls. <laughs> Alright, dinner. Right, people, so we're back in JBR. Um, what a nice day. And like, even that conversation we had, like, we we're saying how it just flowed. Like, we did that all in one take. And, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave it a like if you did. Anyways, we're pretty tired after today for some reason. Um, so, we're gonna maybe go look for like a Red Bull as they don't have White Monster in this country. Mad. And then we're gonna get dressed and go out for dinner and wrap up the vlog.